African Gas Association Figil and Kosi says companies in the country, according to their report, lose at least 5% of their revenue annually due to fraud. Nkosi was speaking during the launch of the International Fraud Week, which the Swaziland Bankers Association launched in collaboration with the Royal Swaziland Police Service. Fraud crimes normally shoot up during the festive season, hence it is crucial for members of the public to be on the lookout for such crimes during this period. It's for this reason that the Swaziland Bankers Association all is partners with the Royal Swaziland Police with the aim of minimizing fraud crime in the country. It is yet launched the International Fraud Week, which will go on until the end of the week. The Swaziland Bankers Association and its stakeholders will go out to warn, inform and educate Swazis about the different types of financial fraud theft. The objective of the campaign is to highlight the red flags customers of banks should always be cautious of and also provide tips on how to protect themselves from possible financial loss. The chairperson of the Bankers Association, Fili Nkosi, says companies lose an estimated 5% of their revenue annually due to fraud. Therefore, it's important for every business person to understand fraud in all its different forms. According to the 2016 Association of Certified Fraud Examiner's Report to the Nations, companies lose an estimated 5% of their revenue annually due to fraud. It is therefore imperative for every business person to understand and be cognizant of fraud in all its different forms. The staggering cost of fraud economically continue to, sh to shock us. As official statistics received from one of our partners, the Royal Swaziland Police, RSP, put the total financial loss from reported cases of fraud in Swaziland at over 22.8 million since November last year. Total reported cases from November 2015 to October 2016 stood at 432 cases. These include ATM fraud, cloned bank cards, internet fraud, theft by false pretense, as well as miscellaneous fraud. Ngosi urges Swazi to particularly be cautious during this festive season where instances of fraud are on the rise. She says the official commemoration of International Fraud Awareness Week will be held on Friday in Babane. For Swazi TV News, I'm Lungelele Makakula with Swalisani Mabuza in Babane.